Hello, I'm Jonathan Martin from the touchspace.com. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you some advanced JSON AJAX using jQuery, and we just got to select some stuff from the database using PHP and retrieve it back to the page without having to re refresh. Now we've got two example products here, and you select one of them, and it brings back the information. And if we do that again and go on number two and it selects another bit of information. I hope you enjoy. Okay, let's get started. I've created the basic HTML page plus a tiny bit of JavaScript and the HTML for our form and the results. Basically it's just a drop down list with two options at the moment and then we've created a table where we're going to output the data that's retrieved from the AJAX. Um, using a bit of jQuery I've managed to hide the information when it's not needed and hide the form when it's not needed. In our other page which is ajax.php I have basically just connected to the database and a quick query, I haven't outputted anything onto the page. I've created a variable called ID which is asking for the post of product ID and then we are selecting all from products where ID equals ID and in our MySQL database we have got two, two um, table, not tables, two rows of information with all our information in it and the IDs here. Now let's get down to making our Ajaxy JavaScript jQuery piece of code. So first we start with the dollar sign, dollar sign which is assigning the jQuery and we put a dot and then we put post. Post is basically the post as in post as in when you send something to a a PHP page and PHP process that processes that post. If we wanted to do get processing we'll just put get here but we're not, we're doing post as it's asking for a post ID uh, product ID here. The first parameter is the URL which is ajax.php the second is any information we want to send and we send that in a array type thing and then we need a callback which is function which is just an anonymous function like that and then our fourth parameter is what we want it to send back now at the moment we're just going to put text because what we want is a array to be sent back from the uh, from the PHP as text so it will mean nothing to anything now in what we want to send to the page in post we're going to put prod underscore id because it wants that and then we're going to retrieve what what's been selected which is the id product so we're going to do jQuery here the jQuery selector and then and then we're going to select product and now it's assigned to now it's looking inside that that ID, we're going to type in val to get the val back. Now that's got the val. Inside this function, we want it to bring back data like that. So we should type data into there. And that looks all fine. So we're going to alert out the data when it comes through. Because that's what we want at the moment. Now if we go to ajax.php, we need to sort out the PHP processing. Now I've just done this simple query and and my school fetches so so we're just going to print underscore r that out and see how it does. So over to to Chrome and we're on our site and we get get information and there's an error. Not a valid my SQL result. That's because I haven't done that, I haven't queried it to MySQL. Now let's try again. 
and that's sending our array back. So it's ID one, product name is its name, description, product one example is an advanced Ajax example, it's cheap and easy. And product underscore price is three uh, point five six. Now we don't want it to send it back like that because it means nothing to jQuery. So we're going to we're going to echo out something called a JSON. JSON stands for actually I really can't remember what it stands for. Something to do with JavaScript. The first J starts with JavaScript. But you can Google that if you want. Um, and we're going to encode it into JSON using JSON underscore encode function and we're going to encode results because it's an array. Now if we try this out again on our page get product information it sends it back like this. This is basically a, a JSON um, thing. And also the way we send parameters to PHP is also JSON. Now if we go back over to index.html we need to process this JSON and because we're using native JavaScript it's really easy to do so. So we are going to find this pretty easy. Now we've got to change the product ID here so we're going to select product ID using uh, jQuery and then we're going to change its HTML so we use the jQuery.html function -y type thing and then we're going to type in data dot and then I can't remember what it uses here its ID just plain ID and that should change change the product ID. Now the next one's product name so we're just going to copy and paste this because I can't bother to type it all out again. I'm going to copy and paste it for three more times. So it change it to name and then the next copy we're going to change desk and price. And now we're going to look at what it's sending back. So we've got ID, product underscore name, product no, prod underscore description and prod underscore price prod underscore name we just copy that over and now that should work pretty well and the last thing's last is that I created this earlier but I just want to move it inside of the Ajax just so it does it when all the information's ready so we're going to f refresh and try again and it hasn't done anything. Oh yeah, that's why. We need to change text to JSON. I completely forgot about that. And there we go. Now it should work. And there we go. It's got product ID 1, example product 1, product 1 is the advanced Ajax example, it's cheap and easy, and then product price. Now just for effect we're going to put a dollar sign before product price, but that wouldn't work either. So because it wouldn't work because we're replacing all the HTML, so what we can do is we can just put up here we just put them and then plus that and we just put a dollar sign in there and that should work and there we go and now let's just test it with the other example we've got in the database and it works, it returns number 2 and different prices thanks for watching this tutorial uh, I'll be selling the source code for around a dollar on the touchspace.com uh, you can get a link to the source code to buy it down below in the more information box. Um, and that's about it. Um, stay tuned, subscribe, comment and thumbs up. Thanks for watching.